Nintendo Zebra Herd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, oh wow, there's a fossil spot right here. Um, we're gonna be running through town doing our normal daily stuff, and then we're gonna be hitting the hay early because we wanna go to Luna and do the dreaming thing that was added in the newest update. I really don't know too much about it beyond the fact that I'm very interested in it. So yeah, it, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, we, of course, still have to do our daily things first though, so I'm gonna get those out of the way as soon as I can, but as you can see, we have a letter from Label who we saw yesterday. Uh, thank, or actually, that was the day before yesterday. Thank you for the uh, other day. I have sent you a tailor's ticket to show my appreciation. You can exchange it for an item that's 3,000 bells or less at the tailor shop. Be sure to use it. All right then, well thank you so much for that. We also got a couple of Nook shopping stuff like the KK Folk, the rodeo style springy ride on, um, the Hikoboshi outfit, and the Urehime outfit right here. So that's cool Nook shopping stuff. I don't think the fruit's grown back in, so mostly what we're focusing on is just really quickly grabbing some fossils, uh, wherever they may be. Because I did not play yesterday, I played the day before that, so. Oh, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Zebra, thanks for saying hi. Let's chat. You look great today, I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. Hardly a food stain on me today. <laughs> I guess so, buddy, I guess so. Um, so yeah, that's mostly what we're focused on in today's episode. I might also take a look for, um, money rocks while we can, like right here. Not a money rock. I'm not even gonna bother too much just because my inventory is, or at least my uh, house inventory is so full of uh, normal rock stuff at this point. Ah, Zebra, what a pleasure it is to see you today, Rebet. I wanna chat. Uh, time moves on a bit le more leisurely here on the island. If I don't watch the clock, the day ends before I know it. <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> and ooh, I like your sunglasses. Looking good, Celia. Great to see you, Zebra, feathers. What's the latest? Nice to see your smile. Having fun, Feathers? Of course. All right, oh, and there's a letter here. What does it say? Uh, I wanna read. Hey everyone, on August 22nd, we'll be saying happy birthday to Rolf. So prep those party hats and get into a celebratory spirit, folks. All right, we'll definitely have to make sure we actually celebrate this one. I missed out on like two or three birthdays now, and I feel so bad. I'm such a bad neighbor. Well, here we go, here's our second fossil. There should be six of them chilling out around here. I can't carry anything else. Whoops. Uh, what can I drop? I don't need rocks right now. I guess I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to bury them. <laughs> okay, let's sell what we have then. Maybe now's just a good time to swing by Nook's Cranny and just sort of see what we can do. I didn't realize we could still sell all this stuff that we had in our inventory. Oh, some interesting things. Oh, I see a, a big piano. That'd be great for the music room, but it might be expensive. Okay, first and foremost, uh, we have oranges, uh, fish. All of these fish, I think I can donate without too much of an issue. Same thing with the shells and the bugs and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. And that's going to be 8,680 bells. Well, that's cool. Over here, what is this? Oh, it's a little ice shaver. Shaved ice maker, 1,400 bells. Cool, but I don't need it. And this is like a wrestler statue. Throwback wrestling figure. <laughs> it's a champion. 1400 bells, but I'm not too interested. Over here we have a table setting. That's fancy. You know, we should get this for the kitchen. It might be nice. There we go. I wonder if we could customize this so we could change the colors of the plate. Oh, this is like a fancy diner clock. A uh, diner neon clock. I don't think I need it, but still, very fancy. And let's see how expensive this uh, Classical piano. It was like one of the ones you would find, I guess, like um, in like a saloon. An upright piano. Fifty-three thousand is actually less than I was expecting. I might be able to come back and get that. It would probably mean I'm spending most of today's earnings. But you know what? Let's go for it. You know, I, I want to be able to expand the the music room a little bit, and that would be an excellent addition to it. So I can go ahead and dig these rocks back up. We have two fossils so far. I need to find four more around here. And we can also keep looking for the money rock. Hmm, I'm sure we're gonna have to get new tools soon, but here's our third fossil that I missed. Oop. Okay. And I'm not seeing any more down this way, but yeah, there's definitely no fruit growing in right now, just because we got it a couple days ago. But I'm definitely excited to you know do the sleeping thing and check out what that part of the update is all about. I don't really know too much about it besides it's like some kind of like dream town. I don't know how it works. So I'm very curious to meet up with Luna and she'll tell us all about it. We haven't done anything with this rock, so let's try it. Just normal rock. Okay. There we go. 
And I don't think we've explored this corner too much. So let's get to it for right now. Here's another one. Got it. Well, actually, no, we just did that one right now. Yeah, you can already see. <laughs> I did that one, don't be silly. Hmm. Oh, and here's Biff. I don't think we talked to him last episode. You wanna, oh no, we did. You wanna sit here? Sorry, my legs are so tired from my last workout. I couldn't get up if I wanted to. I just wanna, no, I just wanna talk to you. Oh, come on, game. Why is it like that sometimes? <laughs> I talked to him before with the shovel out. I know it looks like I'm almost sitting down, but I'm actually clenching my abs, Squirt. <laughs> okay. Well, let's keep moving. And you know what? I'll get this a couple of times because now that I think about it, we do need to get golden nuggets and the only way to do that is to keep hitting these rocks, but it can just be time consuming and a little boring to hit all of them all the way, so I mostly just prioritize the money rock. But there's that out of the way. But when we got some Nook Miles, that's for hitting a rock five times. Well, there we go, we did exactly that. And we got some other things here, catch five fish, sp spend a good chunk of bells, uh, assess the fossils we'll be doing soon, complete DIY projects, pop balloons. Some of those will definitely do, some of those maybe not. We'll see. We're already halfway done with the fossils. I just need to find the other half of them. Oh, here's a, another shell. Oh, I think I see Rolf over there. Are you okay, buddy? Oh, he's probably thinking of a new expression. Living on this island ain't bad, but I've been thinking I might just pull up stakes to here and move. No, it's your birthday's coming up, we gotta celebrate. Sure, I got lots of friends around these parts, but I wonder if they're out th they're, what's out there for me on other islands. Does any idea of a brand new place that you're hard art to race in? Oh, don't go. Oh, come on now. Now you want to made my determination waver. All right, all right, you win, kiddo. Guess I'll stick around a mite longer. All right, well, that's good. I don't want you leaving. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. Still got a couple of things to pick up around here. No message in a bottle just yet, but I'm sure we'll stumble. Aha, across something. It heard me, calling out to it. What will the message say this time? I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master DIY. We've read this one before. A log wall mounted clock. Well, we don't have it, so there's a new one for the collection. And what about this? What was this again? Uh, that was the Taylor's ticket. So I'll probably bring that over to uh, the Able Sisters soon enough. Get that figured out. See if we can't get ourselves free bit of mer merch. Uh, I mean, we might wait until there's something we want. Because <laughs> I just don't want to buy something for the sake of it but I'm sure we'll be able to check and find some that we like. They usually sell quite a lot of stuff. Okay, not too much going around this side of the island. We're still looking for three more fossils, and that's exactly what I have inventory for, so. Hopefully that's all we find. Hmm. Be over this way. I'm not seeing too much. But I'm sure sooner or later we'll stumble across something. We also haven't tried this rock. So we're gonna try this one. We didn't try the one by the beach. Sort of forgot to do that. I am missing like crazy. There we go. Oh, here it is. Please shovel, don't break. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay, our shovel didn't break, fantastic. So this is gonna jump us up a good chunk, which is nice. Remember, we're looking to get 50,000 something bells, 53,000 maybe. So we, we actually aren't too far away. If we get some good fossils and sell those and then maybe grab a tiny bit of money out of our uh, ABD savings, we might be fine. And then we can fish a little bit, make some money that way, but I'm not too worried about that part. I am not seeing anything. Oh, Red is here today as well. Okay, well I definitely wanna spend money there. That'll be good. Um, hmm. Yeah, where are the other three fossils? They all have to be around here then. I don't know what the chances of that are, so I might have to run through everything again just to double check for it. Ah, well here's one of them. Right between the little trees. I like it. Okay, <laughs> I'm all covered up, but there's fossil number four. We need two more. I mean, I guess they could be up here, just... Here's one. Okay, one more, we can find it. And then we'll go get those assessed. We'll definitely go and see red. Just trying to prioritize one thing at a time. Aha, and here it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 
So first over to Blathers to get those assessed, then over to Timmy and Tommy to sell them, and then over to Red. Seems like a good combo to me. Hoping for, as per usual, at least one more um, new, new fossil with this little batch of them, but who knows. But at the least, we're getting a uh, Nook Miles done for getting them assessed, and we're getting money for selling the ones that are duplicates, so there's still progress being made, just maybe not the most desirable progress. So what say you about these, Blathers? Ah, not even a single new one. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> and let's keep moving. Oh, so there we go, there's a Nook Miles. We might as well get that now, so we can see what's gonna replace it. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. There we go. So we'll go with, uh, oh gosh, my controller's a little battery. <laughs> Hopefully it'll it'll hold on for long enough. But, uh, oh, and that one is too? Oh, bad combo. Uh, let's keep moving now. So the next one is Redeem Nook Miles. I will look at that soon. Maybe I'll buy a ticket just to have. But in the meantime, Hello, Kyle, how are you doing? Doing a little shopping, eh? Don't mind me, I'm just in my happy place. I could shop all day if it weren't for all the pesky non-shopping activities required by life. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, So I wanna sell. I am offering a bunch of stuff. There's a moon jellyfish I forgot to sell. Uh, so we're selling that. Fossil, shells. More fossils, more shells. Nice stuff. Hopefully that's some good money. 30,000 bells, so we, 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 no, 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 that's what I want. And that's gonna put us at 59,000, so how much was this again? Ooh, 53, so yeah, let's go ahead and buy it. I'll take it. And we'll head back down this way. So you know, like I said, not too much of a profit gain today, but I think that we gained something definitely worth our while. We also get an extra 400 miles here and then earn bells by selling items. I just did all that. <laughs> if we um, catch more fish later today, which maybe we will, maybe we won't. I wanna explore the Luna Island thing mostly for today's episode. We'll have to see how it all unfolds. But since we're close, we might as well go to Timmy and Tommy's. Oh, not Timmy, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, hey, now everybody's chilling with their sunglasses. <laughs> At last, it's Zebra. I didn't talk to Lionel last episode. What did I do while you were gone? Let's see. I mostly watched kung fu movies in my basement, and then made kung fu movies in my basement. So I watched them, and then he was inspired and made some himself, cool. And then waited for my arms to heal. <laughs> Did you know that no one can hear me scream from my basement? Anyway, welcome back. Poor Lionel. Seems like he wasn't having a good time while we were gone. I'll have to keep up with him a bit more, make sure he's doing okay for these times where he gets a bit adventurous. All right, so yeah, let's see what's going on around here. First, nothing in the lost and found. Then we'll go over to the Nook stop. And at the least see if there is anything. I, I guess not really. We, we can get the Nook Miles ticket. Seems good to me. Boop. And that'll be the one uh, Nook Miles challenge done. So it's just good to get that out of the way. And then also, anything to buy in the daily shop. Not here. I definitely, once I earn up enough miles, I'm, I'm thinking maybe like 75,000 or something. I want to definitely have an episode where we just go through and buy everything. Let's go to the Nook Shopping. Uh, special goods. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we'll just go for KK House, because I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Hard to remember at this point. I need to make a checklist for sure. And I have these. So we're good to go with that. I don't wanna put anything away for the time being. Um, so we're good with that. Okay, um, and as you can see, we got our Nook Miles done. I'll claim those, go to red, figure all that out. They're all saying hello. Oh, Lionel has a popsicle as well, that's cute. So there's an extra 200 miles. And catch a clownfish, I'll try. I guess before we go to red, I'm gonna go ahead and organize our inventory a bit too, because it is a pretty big mess. Okay, so do we have KK Folk registered? Um, we don't, awesome. So let's go ahead and register KK Folk. 
And also this is a good time to look around. Do we have KK House? Uh, not looking like it. Fantastic, okay, so let's get KK Folk out here then. Right here. Huh. I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't this. And hopefully this is enough room for our upright piano. Oh, it is, for sure. <laughs> piano doesn't really go for this one too well. Really cool song. I definitely have to organize things a little bit in here eventually, but for right now, I'm just glad to get as many instruments in as I can. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, with that done, I guess that's really most of what I wanted to do here. Uh, we'll go to the tailor soon. Uh, I want to put that springy ride-on thing in the park, which we'll be doing towards red anyways. But I, I'll spend stuff at the the one place soon, the, um, the tailor soon. I just want to make sure that we have enough money for red first, because we have... I don't know if we have enough bells as it is. <laughs> I might have to go over there, check things out, and then come back. But hey, this is one of my favorite things to do is you know figure out all the different things going on with Red and his mystery paintings and stuff, most of which are fake. Hey, buddy. Well, if it isn't my favorite cousin, glad to have you back aboard Jolly Red's treasure trawler. Oh, store policy, I know it, you know it. We have a limit of one art piece per customer per day. Choose wisely. So, yeah, it's time to take a look at everything and find out which one's real. So this painting is the Serene painting, and uh, what the Serene painting is based off of is the lady with an ermine, which I guess is a type of animal it's holding, which is actually by Leonardo da Vinci um, between the years 1489 and 1490, so a very long time ago, uh, over 500 years ago. So let's see, is this one real or is it fake? As far as I can tell, this one is maybe real. The weird thing is the coloring on its face doesn't seem right. Um, not not the lady, but the ermine. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe that's the issue. I'm starting to think it is, <laughs> uh, but we'll have to take a look. So I'm gonna guess that yes, this one's the fake because of the, the weird coloration on its face. Cause it's, it's just sort of a flat white color. Um, so we're gonna say no to that one. Uh, and for right now, yeah, we can't afford it for right now, but we'll probably ask, or we'll go get money once we find out which one's real, then we'll just ask for that one. Um, so this one is the Solemn Painting. So the Solemn Painting is based off of Las Meninas, which is Spanish, it's a part of the Spanish Golden Ages when it was made um, in 1656. Very fancy. See, there's like a lot of ladies with dresses. Um, I'm trying to just sort of look through this one because there's a lot of detail to this one. So there's definitely stuff that could be easily missed. But so far, even some of the faces that seem a little bit more off-putting are quite identical. So I'm thinking this is the real deal. This is the genuine p painting. I am really not seeing any differences. So, and if you're wondering, I think I've mentioned this before, but I usually just bring these up on Wikipedia or whatever. Um, and just like look at the original painting, look back at this potential forgery, and just sort of compare and contrast. And so far, everything is looking fine. So that's probably the real painting, so we're probably gonna get that one. Um, I wanna say, I don't know for right now. And let's take a look at the two statues as well. This is the beautiful statue. So the beautiful statue is actually the v Venus de, de Milo, Milo, um, and this one is ancient, apparently, 130 to 100 BC, so we're talking over 2,000 years ago, and they actually even, you know, follow to a T the, uh, the breaks in the arms. Obviously, the statue wasn't originally made that way, but that's how it is now, is that the arms are broken off. That's how old it is. It just must have taken damage, but the thing that this one has that the other ones don't is that it has a necklace, so that's fake. Um... It doesn't have jewelry in the original. And what's interesting, I've been looking into this. I didn't, I never knew this, but a lot of like, you know, we, we look back at history at a lot of marble uh, statues that are like pure white like this. And we thought that that's how they were made originally. Apparently a lot of these statues actually did have paint on them. It's just the paint wasn't made to last for thousands of years. So it's since worn off. But now when we think about, you know, old marble statues, we think about how they look right here, but that's not how they originally looked. And that's just really fascinating. And then we got one last statue here of some kind of dog. This is the motherly statue. 
So this is the motherly statue, and very fascinating about this one, as far as I can tell, um, this, I think, I'm just, you know, trying to breeze through the Wikipedia page, which has a lot of information on it. This is an Italian statue from the 11th or 12th century, doesn't give a specific year, um, but that's like around, you know, 1,000 to 1,200. What's interesting about this one is that the dog statue is made, and then the, the babies under it, the human baby statues under it were made like a hundred years later, which is a crazy interesting thing. The thing that's wrong about this one, definitely a forgery because the dog has its tongue sticking out and it's sort of looking a little more to the left. It's, or not looking as much to the left as it is in the original. So the one that we thought was real is the real one, which is that painting to the left with all the detail and the dresses and stuff. So we're gonna go get some more money and we'll go and purchase that one. But yeah, these were all four new um, pieces of art we haven't seen before, so it's just really cool to see that. So we're back, I have enough money that I should just be able to grab this, no problem. Um, this is the solemn painting, it's the real deal. You got a deal. <laughs> all right, so he's gonna send that to us. We should also check out what else he has available. I don't think I want any of it, but I haven't really looked. Oh, I guess it's just one thing, unless I can buy this light. Oh, I guess so, this is the floral light, fancy. Uh, that's expensive for a floor, right? I, at least for right now, compared to what I have. Um, and what about this? The best Zydeco albums. It's impossible to get enough of the diner counter table. I don't think I need it, but uh, thank you for the offer. 9,000 bells to another pricey piece of furniture. Uh, well, that was a lot of fun, very interesting. So we are going to go and, uh, what is it called? We are gonna go and go back to our house now so that hopefully, well actually I guess we should go and do the, the Able Sisters. <laughs> but then after that we're gonna catch some Z's even though it's 3.45 p.m. <laughs> we are going to, uh, oh no, and there goes my controllers. Oh boy, I'll be right back. Okay, my controller, I got a new working controller, I'll charge the other one soon. And we'll go do the Able Sisters, then we'll go hit the hay. Uh, that'll be pretty good. Hello, how are you? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna move over this way and just sort of work with it. I don't know how we use, oh, I'm sorry, you can't use a fitting room with a wetsuit on. Please give it to an, another shot once you take that off. Okay, weird requirement, but if you say so. There it is. Oh, is that a teller ticket you've got there? Lucky you. You can exchange that for one item in the store at the 3,000 bell. It's free of charge, be sure to use it sometime. Can I use it while we're in the wardrobe though is the question that I have. I guess we'll find out. So we have um, a biker jacket. Interesting. Okay, so I can use my ticket on it like that. Interesting. We got the bowling shirt. Uh, oversized shawl over, sh or <laughs> oversized shawl over shirt. Bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, some of these we've seen. Oh, but this is new, right? The shirt with a camera. Oh, what a value. Uh, the thread worn sweater. Yeah, we've seen that too. Actually, nothing really new here too much. We got the frog costume. I don't think the frog head is here, though. The linen dress. Oh, we got some baseball cap of like different symbols. Those are fancy. None that I see that I like really need, though. Uh, the detective hat and the knit hat. We actually bought that last episode. The pig nose. Uh, round shades. Some basic socks. House slippers. Uh, LaBelle sneakers. And uh, did I put my ticket somewhere? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, can I not use? No, I can. Oh, it's just being weird, I guess. Okay, um, LaBelle sneakers. Yeah, why can't I use the ticket on sneakers? I can just not on these sneakers. Oh, because these are LaBelle brand sneakers. Okay, interesting. So we have labels brand here now. I definitely wanna get some of that. They actually look pretty cool. See, I'll take those. Um, we got pleather sneakers, which I'm pretty sure we've gotten in the past. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'm gonna get here is the thing that I, I can't use the ticket on. <laughs> All right then, so yeah, we'll get some LaBelle sneakers. They look pretty good, um, and I'll equip them. Very cool, so we'll have to see if we can't use this ticket some other time. Looking sharp, thanks so much. And let's head home and go to sleep. <laughs> So I really don't know how this works. All I know is that I got a letter from Luna saying to try it out. So I don't even know if we have a bed up here right now. We don't. Luckily, she gave us a bed. So if we uh, organize this by that, and we of course have a bed from, oh, here it is, Luna's bed. We have a bed from <laughs> the little camping thing, the camping cot. So here we go, Luna's bed, place item. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. We'll work on this room later. For right now, should I get some sleep? 
Yeah, I want to sleep. Ah. Been a long day, working hard, buying pianos. Let's just catch some Z's. Whoa, look at this! Oh, that's so cool! Wow! Welcome! Oh, is this Luna? Is this so pretty? If I'm not mistaken, you are from Stripe, yes? You must be the famous zebra. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good guess? Hmm, few dream as pleasantly as those from Stripe. Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. The Library of Dreams? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. <laughs> okay, my role is to ferry travelers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream. This need not to be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Stripe as well. Then I will spirit your dream through channels of fiber optics to live in a library and be shared with the world. So I guess this is a way other people can check out your town without actually having to visit it while you're playing. Put simply, to share your dream of Stripe with others, tell me I'd like to share a dream. Well now, that we have the introductions out of the way, how may I be of assistance? I would like to share a dream. If I can make it so that other people can visit my town without me having to be online and invite them, which is something I just can't do because it's just so many people would want to do that and it'd just be hard to coordinate. But uh, this would make it much easier for people to actually visit, so that'd be cool. Of course, but before we continue, there's some important information you will need to read first. Important information on sharing your dreams. When you share your dream of your island, other players, including ones you don't know, will be able to visit a version of your island. That means the player-generated data about your island and residents captured at the time the dream is shared will be made public, which is fine. This data includes your name, your passport info, the look of your entire island, rooms and homes, uh, your custom designs, any bulletin board posts, and more, which is fine. All that, you know, has already been showcased to the world through this series. I understand. All done. From here, it is simple. First, I will from form your memory of Stripe into a dream. Then I will connect to the internet to upload your dream to the library. Oh, there is something else you may be interested to know. Visitors to your dream may bring back any design that is on display in your custom designs portal. That's cool, so you guys could go... Well, I don't know if I have that in the design portal, but I have the Zebra Gamer, you know, flag. Hopefully we can make it so that you guys can go and get that. Check your custom design portal before uploading your dream to see which designs will be made available. I think I've already shared the code for that anyways, but in case you just wanted to get some other way, try thinking of those designs as Stripe souvenirs. Enough explanations, I should now collect and compile your memory of Stripe. Are you ready? I am ready. Splendid, I shall now connect to the internet and the Library of Dreams. Connecting to the internet. Oh boy. So this is a good time to mention, if you guys have a cool themed town or something like that you'd like me to check out, let me know. It could be yours, it could be somebody else's if they've made it public and want to share that, let me know. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who made some very impressive towns that they want people to visit and see. So if there's a dream of it, like maybe we can go and make some episodes focused on that. I am in. And now I should collect and compile your cherished memory of Stripe into a dream. Close your eyes, picture what you love most about Stripe. Relax, relax. Connecting to the internet again. Didn't we just do that? <laughs> so of course, our town is a very big work in progress, but if you wanted a little glimpse of what Stripe is like here in August of 2020, you can take a look. There, the dream upload is now complete. Each bite now reclines in its new home. Well done. Your dream of Stripe is filed under the dream address DA2321358687498. So if you want, you can pause the video here and write this down and check it out for yourself. I'll give you a couple of seconds just to pause it, but it shouldn't take you too long to pause it, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. To share your dream with others, simply give them the dream address. Again, it is this number. Cool. Your dream address is currently set to appear on your passport and on your island's map. Oh cool, so we can bring it up at any time. If you do not want your island's dream address displayed on your passport and map, let me know. Lastly, do you remember that your dream will not reflect any changes made to Stripe after an upload? That's good. Um, 
So that means nobody can like mess with something and damage my town in the real town. However, as your island develops, it, your its dream can be refreshed if you wish. I can update your dream once per day. I believe that is everything. Thank you for your patience and may your dream host many happy visitors. May be of assistance to you in any other way. So we could say I want to dream I don't know if it'll bring us to a random town. Of course, of course. But there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. <laughs> a connection is, of course, required. Furthermore, a dream address and identity unique to each dream is also needed. So you can't just be brought to a random dream. So before dreaming, but be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. I don't. Oh, one other wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. Do not worry, I will happily hold on to your belongings and return to them after you wake. I believe that covers everything. Now, are you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? Another time, I don't have a code right now. So yeah, like I said, if you guys have any cool town suggestions, you'd like me to take a look at, I'll definitely be considering them. But for right now, I think it's time to wake up. It was nice to meet you, Luna. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. But for right now, wake up. Wake up. It is time to awaken from the dream. Well, there we go. That was refreshing, right? I had a lot of fun today. And I'm glad that I was able to get some stuff done and really check out what Luna has to, in store for us. So that was only one piece of the new update. Um, the second part of it is actually going to be recorded this Sunday. It's going to be after for you guys. But basically, it's a little fireworks display. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But in the meantime, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.